Today is Monday, October 26th, 2020, and today I'm thinking about the Great Deception, specifically the Outer Space Fantasy Deception. Outer Space is not real. Genesis 1 is truth. And what I want to show today is some news out of NASA. NASA in Hebrew means to deceive. And that's probably one of the reasons that it's called NASA, because it's very close to sounding like NASA. And so something that I've just noticed that NASA really likes to do is they like to be withholding and they like to say stuff like, oh guys, we're going to come out with this great news in in a week. And then a week passes by and then they, they come out with it and nine times out of 10, people are like, oh, that's the news that you're hyping up telling us we have to wait a week for. And I read in some comments, people were like that with this because this is nothing new. This is just another, they like to just have constant stories in the media about outer space land because they have to keep people trapped there. And this is a topic I can just rant and rant about. I hate outer space so much. It's so, I get so annoyed that I used to believe in that stuff because it's so obvious to me now. So praise Jesus for waking me up, but I get so annoyed at outer space because it's really clearly fake and all the duping delight that they have and how campy it all is. I could just go on and on, but I want to try to do this video really fast and talk about the main point of this. The news that they came up with is talking about water. Anytime that anybody is talking about outer space land and water comes up, you should have all the alarms going off in your brain about they're talking about water and it's because that's what's up there. Read the Bible, read Genesis one. There are waters above. And so that's what this video is just talking about how whenever anybody talks about water and they're talking about outer space, it's there. They probably know the truth and it's that there's water up there. There's water above the firmament. That's why they like to talk about this stuff, because they like to hide a grain of truth in their enormous pile of BS. It's like a needle in a haystack, and it gives them something to feel smug about. And it's just an in-joke. You are surrounded by people. You know how the saying about how it's a big club? Well, the big club, they, they know that all this stuff is fake, but they think it's hilarious that people don't get it and they they get off on deceiving people and just going along with it. I you'll hear people talk about how yeah, I know everything's fake, but it's more fun to pretend. And to me, it's not more fun to pretend. I don't understand that at all. It just shows you how different they are than than we are. When I know the truth, I want to tell people the truth and I want to shout this stuff from the rooftops. And everybody should know that nasha means to deceive in Hebrew. Anyways, see, I've, I've already gone sidetracked ranting. NASA on Monday announced fascinating, in quotations, news, saying the, Sof the agency's Sophia telescope, and Sophia, that's some goddess worship stuff, and there was some interesting stuff about Sophia originally being about cleverness, and clever is kind of like a trickster thing. Well, there's water. Uh, that's the point. There's water. fascinating news. And just a, a really subtle, I like to point out their signs and symbols, sideways. This is some news agency and this person's image is sideways. It should not be sideways. The reason it's sideways is because sideways is 33. Also, the word fascinate is 33. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a definition of the word fascinate that may fascinate you. Sideways is 33. Fascinate is 33. It's a big story, but in my opinion... <clears throat> In my opinion, this is going to be one of those one of those 9 out of 10 stories where people are like, womp womp, that's all, you're just telling us that there's water up there? People are going to be like, you've already been talking about this. And it's because they just love to fill the news with this garbage and overhype stuff and then let you down. They got their CGI. I thought this was interesting, another quotation thing. They're really into the quotation, putting quotation marks around certain ideas. Eternal darkness. In my opinion, the fiery cave that they show us that hell is, I don't know that that's what hell is for everybody. It seems like the Bible talks about this outer darkness thing. 
And eternal darkness may be the fate of some people. That's like hell. They'll just be falling through darkness forever. I don't know. But the Bible is clear. And something that annoys me is that what I was told growing up was that Genesis is just a story, just an allegory. But when you read Genesis, it's not an allegory at all. When you think of an allegory, you think of, oh, the earth is on a turtle's back. Okay, that's an allegory because they're taking something like a turtle, which is clearly not talking about reality, and they, they're telling you a story using a turtle, something you're more familiar with. So if Genesis 1 were an allegory, they would be using ideas that we're more familiar with, but instead it's very technical and it's, it's to the point and nothing is being used as an allegory. What, how is the firmament an allegory? <clears throat> and God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Go look at the flag of Israel. The flag of Israel, you can probably just picture it in your mind. There's two, bl two blue stripes and uh, the blue stripes are separated by a white stripe. And so what it represents, it represents the waters below and the waters above. That's what the two blue stripes and the flag of Israel represent. Well, anyways, whenever you see water, it's, I just think of you, you need all the alarms blaring when people are talking about water and fake outer space land, because they're hinting at there's waters up there. It's the waters above. That's why a lot of phenomenon in the heavens, they look like light dancing on the bottom of a pool. That's why comets look like a flashlight being shown underwater. It's probably why the sky is blue. There's water up there. The ISS is underwater. Orange. Orange is 33. Just look at these. Free. It's just a costume. The fact that there's a pulley here. I love pointing out the fact that there's a useless pulley here. The, it doesn't make any sense. It's just trying to look complicated. Patches. They look like children with patches. Is it like... Is this Boy Scouts? What's going on here? And they love their hand signs. Devil horns. Magic wand hand on the left there from both of them. They're all inverts and they're all in on the joke. They're all in on the joke. That's why Ariana Grande puts on the orange suit and covers covers one of the eyes, takes their photo. That's why they have man necks with the strip throat line. That's why they have long faces. Why the long face? Because they're a eunuch. Eunuchs have long faces. Unicoid facial elongation. It's a real thing. And I'll just end with this. This was a really interesting... A lot of their articles, you can tell that they're not written by an AI. A lot of articles these days, it's like, did an AI write this? It seems like an AI wrote this. Other ones, they're making too many references and they're, they're using too many of their words. And you can tell that somebody in the know is writing it. But I thought this was interesting how it said, a telescope in the back of a 747. That's kind of an in-joke because... A lot of NASA footage is filmed in the back of a 747. A vomit, go look up, vomit comet. They hollow out an airplane and they give these people a big, sp and they put a set in there, probably some green screens and stuff. And the, the airplane just does a free fall. Just the airplane goes up really high and then goes down at the same rate as a free fall. And it gives them a few minutes to record their NASA BS in zero g gravity's not even real there's no such thing as gravity it's just buoyancy but anyways i just noticed that there the fact that they start out with a telescope in the back of a 747 it's kind of an in joke that nasa stuff is recorded in the back of airplanes um anyways water about lunar water 11 years ago so 11 is a big number in freemasonry 11 it's the first duality number because of repetition goes same forward as backwards and uh also two pillars of masonry 11 i think they really like the number 11 because the two two pillars of masonry 11 looks like two pillars changed our view of the moon forever data collected by the robotic travelers so travelers is a big buzzword so but even even the word buzzword is a buzzword and you know we have buzz aldrin so 
because what buzz is a bee reference and it's a hive. They're like a, a hive, a Masonic hive. And traveler is something that these people call themselves. And I guess it's like a thing that Masons will do. They, they talk about traveling eastward or something. I don't understand. I don't care. They're really childish, stupid. But I just know that they call themselves travelers. Have you ever met people that are obsessed with saying they, their whole life? They're like, oh, I want to travel. I, I just travel. And a lot of them do really travel all the time. Like they'll, that's like the upper level ones. The, the really rich inverts, they really do travel a lot too. Like they, they'll go to Europe just for no reason, like five times a year. So anyways, traveler is a big buzzword. And our moon wasn't so, whatever. Hawaii, I believe Hawaii is 33. Illuminated is a big buzzword. People that go out of their way to use the word illuminated. And of course, because Illuminati, they think of illuminated people or people who are let in on the secret. It's somewhat surprising, but it's conclusive. Based on our knowledge, it cannot be anything else. They know it's water. Because these people, they know that they know the Bible's true. They know the earth is flat. They know there's a firmament. That's why they're always mocking it. And Between us and the moon is a lot of water. Explains Jessica Sunshine. What? This person's last name is Sunshine? Are you kidding me? Uh... And you see how this is old news. And like I said earlier, they NASA loves doing this thing where, oh, guys, we have this huge announcement. And then people are like, that's old news. And they, they really do like having anticlimactic things like that. And really, it's just another chance to keep giving you this BS programming of Spaceballs and to mock people and to hide the truth in plain sight so that people who get it get a chuckle out of it. And they, they try to say that they're just talking about, oh, water vapor. But if you if you really understand what they're talking about, between us and the moon is a lot of water. Jessica Sunshine did not say that there's a lot of water vapor. Jessica Sunshine straight up said between us and, and the moon is a lot of water. I thought this was interesting. The team suggests the water is likely trapped in glass. Probably a reference to the firmament. NASA, here's just more taking the piss stories. NASA's launching a 4G phone network on the moon. <laughs> Do you see the duping delight in these people? They are, they know it's so dumb. And phone is one of the biggest symbols for phony stuff. You'll see phones a lot. Uh, Coco the gorilla. I see a lot of phone imagery with Coco. Coco the gorilla is a fursuit. This whole world is fake and gay. And there are so many people that... They know it's fake and gay, but they think it's more fun to go along with it. But that's really childish, and that's the type of thing that that the children of Satan would do. They would think that that's hilarious to lie to people about all this stuff and be in on the joke. And I just see that clear distinction. I will never be able to rationalize the way that these people act, knowing that this stuff is all fake but going along with it. I'll never be able to rationalize it because it's not rational. And these people, they're of their father, Satan. They're liars. That's why they act like that. God bless everyone. At the beginning, I told you that I would show you this definition of fascinate. So here, I thought this was very interesting when I read the archaic definition of fascinate. And this is something that you see very frequently where there's an archaic, what they'll tell you is an archaic meaning, but they're still using it in that way or words that have double meanings and they won't tell you which way to interpret it and you can take it more than one way. Well, just look at, at how interesting this archaic definition of fascinate is. Especially of a snake to deprive a person or animal of the ability to resist or escape by the power of a look or gaze. The serpent fascinates its prey. I just thought that was a really interesting definition that I've never heard and how it's connected to the snake. And so here's a second definition of fascinate. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless everyone.